funny enough, Beast Fear is the only Division 2 player in this pool. In this top four. Oh yeah, you're right! So props to him already. You know, he has seen him below and he's shown he's got what it takes to compete with them. Alright, starting off small battlefield, Lucas Luigi. <laughs> Immediately going for a grab and getting punished for it. That's the Luigi way. <laughs> oh. Perfect. Give him a grab there. Alright. This... Nice little reversal. He's gonna get off the draw. Solid ledge trap here. Good punish oh. on the air dodge in. <laughs> He's trying to get to the map. Good out of shield! Oh Called my out God. the aggressive Beast play. That's a stock at 64. Gosh. And. Oh, and that'll. Oh. oh no. uh, it's a little hard to tell. Luigi's vertical, vertical recovery is pretty insane. Oh, beats his behindings there with his own grab, but then gets caught for his aggression with the down B. So, like, Beast Spear's not conditioning. Um, enough options to get these grabs. He's hardly got them. He's so um, telegraphed with them. Every single player he's played against knows when he's gonna throw them out. He needed a misfire there to get back. Yeah. Gets the misfire to SP though. <laughs> yeah. Sakurai saying, I got you. A little too hard on these reads. Snaggle just zaring him. Can't keep up the Zerk Prince forever. Gets the combo breaker down B. Snaggle's not like holding forward too. Like right there, he was doing all those airs, trying to get him to like, okay, now I'm gonna dash away. Maybe he'll do an out shield option. He didn't. He didn't rush in. He didn't do anything overly aggressive. No. He's not falling yep. for any of Beastfear's tricks. No. Nope. And Beastfear, unfortunately, out of tricks, it seems. Doesn't look like he's doing anything new. Yep. Sticking to the game, same game plan, just kind of dash attack. Most of his hits have been from dash attack, actually, even in the first stock. Misfire to save uh, him there. Good up smash. Fantastic play there. Call out the option. Call out the... Oh, he's trying to go for a big punish. Let's hit him for it. Running in the back, small battlefield. I like this. Stage wasn't the problem once again. He just has to play... He has to play more consistently as the player. He can't keep going for little tricks and gimmicks. Right. He has to play more steady. He keeps spamming grab as his panic option, as his main neutral tool, and Snaggles is ready for it. Three, two, he conditions with other buttons. Grab won't work. Grab's not working because they know it's coming. Right there, he got a jab instead because he wasn't going for the grab again, but not getting a ton off of it. Oh. Personally, Lucas has an amazing recovery. Not, not going to punish him, though. Kind of lets him land for free. A little surprise. Oh, good patience there. Not pressing a button to land, expecting Snaggles to be aware to punish it, and then dodging the grab. Oh, no, greedy up there, though. Not gonna work yeah. that easy. A move like that, Beastry has to study his frame data. He has to know when it's worth it and when it's not. Oh, and as Snaggles he... expecting yeah. himself to have a jump. Gets oh, the grab okay. at zero. No spike, so only 36. Gets the air dodge out. damage though. That's, that's about one inkling jab. Oh, oh! SD from Beast Fear now. Looking like a Smash 4 Luigi maybe trying to down B. <laughs> Alright. As long as he uh, plays steady, keeps the lead, he can do this. He can't keep running at him like he is right now. He just runs up them, tries to get an option. Doesn't work out. Like right there. Ooh, yep. up smash. Stares through the aggression, but then gets a trade. Catches the roll in. Oh, definitely stale to sub smash a little bit. That pro that might have yep, yep. Just yep. Dies right there. That's not a stock at like 120. Down B oh. through the confirm. Not gonna uh, get F smash. Great, yeah. That should not kill you until around this percent, actually, with proper DI. Oh, but once again, just, oh, I'm gonna go for the ledge up. The ledge roll just yeah. Oh, and very greedy down B. He's going no for... No reason to have done that. He's going for the same tricks. Working okay, that time, but... That didn't look like he mixed up Snaggles DI as well. Probably couldn't tell what side he was on until the very end. Look at there, just throwing out the grab, getting punished for it. 
Once again, that's three grabs. He's not gonna run in from that distance blindly. It's not gonna work. And look, immediately retaliating with an option. It's another big problem. That's just the roll in with the magnet. I don't like that ledge option. I, from, I, I, uh, like him, like, I like the ledge get up, but the option himself, it was obvious Snaggles wanted him. Beastpear's mind was probably thinking, I can get a grab right here. That's why he didn't do anything. Ooh, uh, very it, greedy yeah. of recovering neutral B. Alright, running back to small battlefield, same characters. Beastpear needs to stop being greedy like this. Every time he has, he gets a good lead, but then he doesn't play like he has the lead. He plays like he needs the lead. Like, like Snaggles has it. He runs at him, tries to force an opening, and Snaggles just pokes him away. And he's not going to get lucky and have Snaggles get another SD like that again. He can't bank on that. Oh, definitely not. Snaggles as a player does not SD that often. He had to run in with those when he does. And he himself can't be sd like he did as well. Right. And look at two grabs right off the bat. And then Snaggles just ran away, expecting the down B. Okay. The grab follow up and jabs to get out of it. Oh, uh, see, good on him. He knew he couldn't up you that this time. Oh. And going for all these grabs at this high of a percent, I doubt he could get anything off him except the down throw up you, maybe. What was that grab doing? That distance isn't going to work. He's not going to run in. He has to calm down, play more patient. As we've said time and time again, these grabs will work if he stops throwing them out so often. You gotta condition him to block into them. You're not doing that. You're not throwing out enough hitboxes. And it seems every move of Beast Spears, every play, revolves around grab. Snaggle's oh. just going for the run-up F smash. And now Snaggle's just gonna, gonna kind of run, run away and poke at him. Run away and poke, and Beast Spears just gonna run at him. Yep, you see immediate down B. And that time Snaggles was prepared for it. He didn't go for more down tilt, like, into whatever that low percent that Lucas can go for. He did one down tilt, F tilt. He was like, oh, I know you've got a combo breaker. I'm just going to keep it simple. Yeah. Even then, Snaggles, he's playing this lead. He's mostly just using safe options. He was ready for that down B to come. And he, that's why he did a move that wouldn't be punished by it. And then waited. See, he knew it was coming again. He tried to ice it. Alright, these three are pressing an immediate button at a disadvantage. Ooh! Oh! Weird hit bu weird angle from that upbeat. Yeah, I thought he hit him on the side of the ledge. That's just the oh. air dodge, clean edge yeah. guard. Simple Lucas stuff that works. Oh. <laughs> oh, Snaggle, that was. Yep, now he's at a zero to death percent. He could just poke him for free now. Yep. He's getting these... I don't like how he's getting these two frames or these catch on the tethers, but not capitalizing on them. Luigi has a very fast, yeah. very efficient, and powerful spike. Yeah, and, but that's a hard... Oh, Dude, there's okay, the good okay, punish. Okay. That was clean, that was clean. That's the kind of punishes he needs. Oh, like, but get okay, the grab at zero. Oh, but doesn't get yeah. the spike. Is, it, is he messing that up, or is it just unfortunate, like, space? Or just unfortunate? He's messing that up. You can DI the uh, down throw initially a little bit further, but Luigi can always, always run a little further in and get it. You have to read DI a bit. Okay, On so smaller, floatier characters like Lucas, it's a little harder, but it's still completely doable. Yeah, I mean, it is his responsibility to learn that if he knows he's going to be fighting these characters. Brave uh, forward air. <laughs> yeah. Greedy on both of their parts. Right, he can very well take this game, provided he doesn't give Snaggles exactly what he wants. You gotta find a good option good. out of the corner, though. Nope. Yep, that'll Air be it. To the thunder. Good oh, guy. That's not it. I actually thought that was over. Oh. No, nope, nope, he did. That, that was good. One down that tilt, then long-lasting hitbox to catch the get-up. Forcing a get-up by doing the down tilts, and then doing that to catch the option he forced. He's got to be feeling a little bit of confidence after that match. Just a little. <laughs> he could have, they both could have played a lot better, but Beast Spirit has to run with this now. He has the momentum, it's in his favor. And Luigi has the power to steamroll. He's got crazy confirms and he's got a lot of moves that will kill ridiculously early. 
so, but it's down to him to getting his execution right, and he's got to make the right neutral decisions. He's got to watch how, like, his conditioning isn't working. Snaggles is not falling for anything. Three, two, one, go! I'm surprised we don't see his banjo come in. Nah, he doesn't play that character. <laughs> All right, starting off just about the same as usual. Look at Antsy for that grab. Kind of whatever down B. He's at a zero to death percent now. Oop, just barely missed face the roll punish. Oh. Catches the air dodge, evens the percents. Forces him to go high, but then forces a low recovery through the down smash. Kind of throwing out like a ton of moves, hoping he can get like some sort of reversal that will then put Snaggles off stage, and just none of it was working. Oh, uh, look, you pressed the button right there. Shouldn't have yeah. done that. You should have recognized Snaggles was not going off there. Anti down me, but Snaggles not expecting it. Ooh, catches the roll, oh. charges the up smasher dead for it too, was prepared for it. Alright, just like that, we're back to even, let's see what he can do. He's gonna want that grab, yep. He was, Snaggles was above him, he should not have went for that. He has to recognize these situations better. He's getting hit by a ton of PK fires. Oh, and there's the gimp with, the, with the PK thunder. He's being zoned out really effectively. Snaggles is like doing a great job of getting a ton of percent when he keeps him out. Misses his confirms there, not a great combo off of that. Much better combo now. Taking the 30, turning it to 80. I'm surprised he didn't try to up you there. If you can get a stock now, like that will go huge right now. That that momentum swing will make it where this game looks a lot more in his favor. Yeah. Oh, I wanted that roll again. Yep, he wants a stock. Look, Antsy down me, but... Good oh parry, but bad parry punish. Provided he takes this stock, this is very doable. Definitely, but he's got to close it out. You can't keep going for the same tricks. Snarls is not going to go for some mix-up expecting something different. If it works, he's going to keep doing it. Oh, tried to go for the... Expecting a big punish on the whiff grab, so he tried to up smash it. Great oh, okay, parry. Okay, okay, okay. This is still very doable. But 84% is still zero to death percent. Ah, oh, not getting the zero to death. He has to hit the Another grab. Game loser. One up B will kill at this percent. Oh, Rolls into the grab. This, off this stage. Very well this does not look good. Oh, antsy on that down smash. Oh, he expected like a jump or something. Uh, but that's what we were talking about. That, that's the problem with this play. Had he evaluated the situation before that, he very well could have won. He was going 